Good evening, everybody. Um, we will start in just a moment. I have a few people, let uh, people continue to climb in and, and to join us. Uh, as this is a reminder, refresher of the presentation that Mr. Torrens uh, and our senior officers did a couple of weeks ago. Um, so uh, this will just be an opportunity again, just to make sure that we are as clear as possible with regards to what's happening uh, this weekend and next week. Um, so again, we'll get started in just a moment. While uh, we wait a second, um, there is the Q&A function um, in uh, this webinar. So if something does come up and you have a question about it, you're more than welcome to put it in at one point. Um, we may cover it as the time comes on. Um, and if that's the case, we can be able to uh, either just reiterate it as, uh, as the uh, time comes, we look through the questions and answers, or, uh, or again, we may just answer it and then you have no questions anyway. Uh, so we see Mr. Torrance getting settled in in just a second, and uh, and we will begin in just a moment. Can you hear me, Mr. Louie? I can, I can. Do I need my microphone? Yes, you do. Okay, sorry about that. That's okay. Yeah, now it sounds like I can order a, a Big Mac and fries. <laughs> so uh, should I, Ben, should I share that my screen? Uh, I, can, I can unshare my screen right now if you want, Mr. Torrance, and you can run through there, or I can keep what I've got and then run from there. So why don't you, you go ahead and, and keep it and I'll follow along on. So sorry, I'm, I'm tardy. Um, first of all, I've gotten a lot of questions about your emails about being able to see this PowerPoint, the slide deck. So I'll make it public once we're done. So I've gotten probably 25 emails try asking to see it. So we'll make it public. Um, I'm Mr. Torrens, and I'm the activities director, and uh, Mr. Louie, of course, you know, and we felt like we held this meeting a couple weeks ago, where we gave you sort of a big picture as we moved into our orange tier. Now that we're in the yellow tier, we have more answers, and so we wanted to share those answers with everybody. So we'll go ahead and start. Uh, I will say that if you've gotten questions, you can go ahead and put in the chat. Mr. I'll talk and Mr. Louis could answer or Mr. Louis, if at some point you want me to uh, address something verbally, I'll, I'll be happy to. Okay. So the, the first thing I wanted to touch on was um, we do get some questions about communication. Um, and so from our point of view, the way we look at communication is we look at the Friday newsletter Mr. Louis Friday's newsletter that comes out Friday afternoons as a primary form of, of information. And we put a lot of stuff in there. Um, in that newsletter, about halfway down for the last three months has been the class of 2021 announcements. And so we've been trying to put those announcements in there. And then we try to take that same information and put it on the website. Um, it, to go to the website, it's under student life is the class of 2021. Then another way that we often communicate is through email, emails through Canvas and Messenger. Um, Mr. Louis sends some emails. I send some emails. Um, I send an email today through Canvas email. And uh, students, it goes to the student's uh, school email. And... Uh, so sometimes they see it, sometimes they don't. And I sent an email tonight to families via school messenger as a reminder about tonight and, uh, and uh, this week and stuff. Yeah, I noticed that. Thank you, Mr. Louie. Um, and then the other thing that we have is our Canvas page for the class of 2020, 2021. We put announcements and assignments on there. Now the guidance counselors use this the most. I do use it periodically. I did put an announcement on there. And what's supposed to happen is when students go on Canvas, they see the announcement uh, pop up on their calendar. 
there isn't a couple unofficial ways that we communicate. We do have a parent Facebook page. Uh, I recognize that's not everyone's on Facebook. Um, so we, that's not a primary, that's why it's not listed here, but it is another way that some parents get information. And I am on that page where you might be able to ask me questions. So it's just some general announcements regarding seniors. Um, the, tech, the district uh, tech department has requested that we pass this information on because they always get questions in August when students graduate and they go on to college in their first semester course, they need to write a resume. And they said, oh, I did that in Ms. Chen's class or Mr. Abe's class or Mr. Davies class for econ or gov. Um, and they want it. And so this is a message to remind all you seniors, you need to, uh, you need to uh, get rid of that stuff. So there are instructions here on this slide. And if there's questions, you can, there's an email that you could ask. Um, cap and gowns are, uh, you could still pick up your gowns and the activities office. You can come up to school anytime, Ms. Shabara is there and pick up a, a gown. We are out of uh, caps and tassels. And what she's telling people is to try online vendors. Um, the, we do have some lawn signs left for the senior package. And we have, uh, we have lawn signs and the panoramic pictures. That, so if you haven't gotten yours, come on by Ms. Shabara's office and, and get one. We have about 20 left. Now, school supplies, um, for some of you parents, you've you know, looked around, you've, if you venture into your child's bedroom, uh, that's a brave venture. But if you do, you might notice that there's some school supplies around. We need those back at school. Uh, so we put some times here when you can drop by. Uh, tomorrow at school, anytime, they can come and outside the library, it, we, right next to the library, attached to the library, we have a textbook room. And there are some carts where kids can just put their textbooks on the cart. They're taking them in every day, uh, several times a day. Um, then on Saturday, I'm going to be up at the school getting ready for the, the prom. And I'll be there most of the day. So you're welcome to come up to school. If you got your textbooks in hand, I'll send you. I'll have some um, carts right outside the library and I'll be taking them inside on Saturday. And then Tuesday through Wednesday, you can um, drop off your books. Now I'll get a little bit more into that later. Uh, the music department is already doing their own drop off. And so um, I'm just kind of, uh, this is instructions from Mr. Schwan. And then we have our athletic director, Coach Lugo has said that the coaches for season three are collecting the uniforms. And he tells me that all the uniforms for season one or two are already returned, so thank you. Um, we wanna make sure that you all understand that debts need to be cleared before you get your diploma. And so uh, we're sending messages out twice a day um, about the debt. So look in your school email uh, and if you didn't get one, then we don't have a debt for you through the, um, the library. Now, you might have a debt for athletics or for music or MAP or another program, but for the um, district, the ASB debts, we, we, we're not seeing it. Just so you know, uh, um, we'll need Wednesday at noon is the deadline to take care of all your debts. Mr. Louie, we doing okay? Any questions? Uh, while you're looking, I'll, uh, the yearbook, you can still pick up a yearbook. Um, and so Mr. Tyler's working with those outside the, in the, from the journalism room. And uh, the senior magazine, I understand, is going to be distributed tomorrow. So we're very excited to see that. Now, uh, prom, which is gonna be happening this weekend. Um, so the prom will be this Saturday. It, it'll be three hours in the quad. Students need to come between five and 5.30. At 5.30, we will close the door. 
they need to come as the check-in process will be to show us that they've already done their screener 19 at home. Uh, they'll answer the questions at home. They'll um, come on their and they'll show us on their phone the green X, which tells us that they've answered the questions correctly. And then we're going to do a five star check in. So if they we also need to scan their ID. Now, their ID could also be a picture on their phone. So you can have both things on your phone. Um, but we do need to scan a picture of your ID. If you forget your ID, we'll just type in your student number and you'll when you tell us. So it's not the end of the world. Um, we will have a DJ there. We're going to have some games. We're going to have um, a wonderful dinner, a dessert bar. We'll have a really nice photo booth. Some We're going to have a caricature artist. And just it'll be just kind of a fun, a fun night. Los Gatos reports that they had a good night. Ours will be very similar in format to theirs. Uh, we are still only inviting our seniors and no students from other schools or uh, no students from other schools. So Mr. Torrance, one of the questions uh, that came up about prom is, do we have an idea of how many students uh, will be at the senior ball? We sure do. We have about 145. Thank you very much. So you're aware um, the seating, the, and I got to give the senior class officers a ton of credit. They've all been very active and very engaged in this effort for the prom. Um, they planned this out. There, these will be the tables, and um, that will be have, will spread. will have spread out, and the cafeteria will be where the, the where the cafeteria is. That overhang will be where the food is. We're having the students will stay at their desks at their tables and the food will be served to them by volunteers uh, who happen to be juniors so we're going to have about a dozen juniors there serving the seniors I, I will say that the prom is formal so that's a, a shirt and tie and a dress Uh, in case you're wondering about other activities, uh, we will be having um, uh, the uh, photo backdrops in these areas. We're going to be having some games around the redwood tree and then some ping pong tables and other games over near the main office area. So we've gotten and we've got um, a couple of fam couple families who generously donated um, their some of their games to us. Uh, that we'll be using. We've purchased a few games, and so there'll be some activities. And then in the middle of the quad, if the students want to do a little bit of social distancing, dancing with no slow songs, they are welcome to. Mr. Louie and I will be, and Mr. Thompson and Miss Monarchy will be out there with, uh, uh, what do you call those things again, Mr. Louie? Poodle. Uh, pool noodles. Pool noodles. And we will be walking around so enforcing the social distancing with pool noodles and it's going to be more for fun again don't have to worry about us actually you know having too much having too much fun with it we just have some fun with it now see what i call senior week is really the next tuesday and wednesday even though it's not an entire week next tuesday is a big day that's the day that we call our senior day 21 and that's the day where we host uh, some life skills classes for the students. We sent an email, we sent a, a survey out to see which students can attend. Um, and uh, the students all have that. So please respond to that survey. The senior class officers just posted it on their Instagram. Again, this is to the students to respond. So parents, you won't see the email. Um, seniors are gonna be divided into six groups. Um, we want you to come. And uh, we will send you the itinerary. The, Mr. Louie, if you don't mind clicking on that link at the bottom where the schedule is, we'll pop, we'll have the senior day schedule. And you could see um, if you kind of generally what the different, the different uh, activities. I got to put the locations and I didn't, oh, I put them up above. If you scroll down a little farther, Mr. Louie, you'll see the, so if your last name is A through C, which is about 60 kids, if everybody came, uh, they would go to the legally, and then up above, they could see that, um, Mr. Louis, if you scroll up, 
the legally, uh, what it means to be 18, that's session one. And that's with Mr. McGurk in the student center. We have um, this, one of the sessions will be going into the library and making sure that, uh, that we're gonna actually check with the kids and make sure they don't have any fines. Uh, and it'll get, be an opportunity for, to have a discussion of what they're missing uh, and take care of a couple other little bookkeeping things. Miss Chan will be in the li library in the large gym talking about um, know when to say no, kind of a discussion about consent. Uh, and then we're going to have some uh, SHS graduates speak to the kids about what it was like their freshman year in college. We're having uh, some freshmen and sophomores come to kind of talk about what it was like during COVID and, and pre-COVID. And then we'll have Miss Sataki will do um, a, a kind of a cooking demonstration on healthy choices at college. And then we're going to have an outside um, company come in and do uh, some training on self-defense. And so all of these things will be, uh, the kids will be rotating through their different groups. Okay, I think that's, that's good. Thank you, Mr. Louie. And then that night, tomorrow, or on Tuesday night, we, we will be having the Senior Awards Night. And I apologize uh, for the confusion. I understand some folks thought it was tonight. Uh, we had to move it to uh, Tuesday night because we were missing a few videos. But this is a, um, it's a very, really nice opportunity to kind of watch and see uh, the different awards that folks have, have earned um, over the years. Um, then on, on Wednesday, June 2nd, we have our graduation practice. And this is really important that everybody who's going to participate in graduation, which just about everybody, uh, comes. We need you at 9 a.m. Please, please do not be late. It's really important. And we all kind of stand around and have to wait for folks if they're not there on time. So, Please come 9 a.m. We'll walk through our processional, the graduation ceremony, and uh, the recessional. Then we're going to have um, grad night t-shirts uh, will be handed out that, that, that uh, morning. And that's the ticket to get in the grad night. <laughs> we'll also give folks a chance to return any textbooks or pay fines. Again, another reminder. Diplomas won't be handed out until the debts are paid. Tickets for graduation will be distributed that at the end of the practice. And that's really important. This is where we're going to give everybody four graduating, four tickets. They're very distinct. They're beautiful. You're going to want to keep them. They're great souvenirs. That's why we're going to, well, I'll talk about that in a sec, but um, you'll be getting those. So you want to make sure you check with your graduate when they come home from graduation practice to put those in a, in a key place. Mr. Louis, any thoughts? Uh, one of the questions, Mr. Torrens, is how long will the graduation practice take? What do what we schedule? Nine to what? Uh, 11. And that's if everybody's there on time. We really need that uh, until 11. It could go till 1130. And, and we can actually be faster too. I've done graduation practices for a number and number of years. And the length of the practice, 100% uh, 90% depends upon the students, the seniors. If they follow directions and they uh, get the practice down pretty quick, we can be done. Um, but in my experience, when the graduation practice take longer, it's like Mr. Torrin said, the students are showing up late. Uh, they're talking to each other too much and they're not paying attention to the direction. And so what we will practice is the recessional and then we'll practice the processional and then we'll practice the reading of the names and then we'll practice the recessional um, and so that way, again, when we actually do it for real uh, the following day, it, it just looks really good and it hums. So that's our plan. And uh, if they want to get home sooner, they just need to make sure that they are uh, attentive and, uh, and go, go well. Okay. Now, graduation. So a couple of things we want to just remind folks is we do have the guidelines uh, that we are in a yellow tier. And so... Uh, and that allows us to have 67% of capacity, seating capacity in the stadium. So that gives us, that allows us about four tickets for close family members. Um, we will have some additional family, other people other than family members. That will be the graduates, the staff, 
um, and then, well, staff that will be helping us. We will have a couple of volunteers. Could it kind of depends who I can rope into it. Um, might be students, might be some some other parents um, in the stadium itself. Everybody needs to be masked, and of course, if you're in quarantine or if you're not feeling well, you shouldn't be coming in. And another key thing too to remember, and we haven't mentioned it here yet, is we are streaming the graduation. We're paying uh, someone to be able to record and stream it for us, so it will be live on YouTube. So any of the extended family members who normally would attend a graduation but won't be able to because of the social distancing rules um, or the other parts of the county guidelines um, can definitely just log in and, and cheer as loud as they want to, and maybe we'll hear them from homes uh, as we get to the different students' names. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Louis. And, and I imagine we would have that posted within, I mean, it, maybe that night, I don't know. No, it's, it's supposed to be live. I mean, we're oh, that's right. Live, that's remember? Right. So we're, that's so. right. Okay. Um, now, so our plan is going to be moving our, our, we moved our graduation to 10 a.m. Uh, on the football field. Uh, graduates will be dressed in cap and gown, procession onto the field and speakers and so on. Uh, we tickets will all be general admission except the VIP tickets, which will be marked um, on the seat. So when you at at 9 a.m. when you open the door, when we open the gates and we start stamping tickets, and we'll talk about that in a second. That when you walk in, some of the seats will already have signs on them, so we want to respect those signs. So we, we're kind of breaking this down into little pieces. So uh, the next slide. So um, this is a bird's eye view of what things are going to look like. If you can orient yourself, um, this end zone of the is nearest Harriman Avenue. And this right here on the bottom of the picture are our home stands. And at the top of the picture where it says processional, that's the visitor stands. We're going to open seating on both sides of the stadium. In addition to the stands, we'll have chairs, about 700 chairs on the track where Mr. Louie has his cursor on both sides. Graduates will come in uh, by the trees, kind of by the, the, uh, the back there. They'll come around by the, end, the goalpost and they'll walk through four arches. They will split up and then take their seat in the rows. So that's kind of, I'll break this down a little bit because this is all new. So just let's talk about the graduate, okay? So when the, um, when the, when we, when we arrive at the designated science classroom. So if you don't know what classroom you sign, you just need to click on this and the kids should know by now which classroom they are. Um, and then uh, carpool, I really would like graduates to carpool or parents drop you off to save parking for family members. Uh, some suggestions that went out today in one of the notes was that gowns should be pressed uh, collared shirts for boys, long pants, dress shoes. Um, and then we have, uh, for girls, we have uh, high heels and um, got to be careful with those because the heels will sometimes go into the artificial turf and sometimes can be tricky. For all of you, the, the bobby pins are helpful, especially on a windy day. So, um, because the, another new thing we're doing this year is we're allowing the graduates to select, self-select who they're going to be with, because as Mr. Louis said, it's their ceremony. So the first thing we had to do was survey the students of who would be at graduation. Again, that, those emails went to the students' email, and we just needed to know if they were going to come. Um, and so then the second step of this was that we needed them to we divided the number of students that were gonna be coming into the 10 science classrooms. And that gave us about 33 students per classroom. Again, you could see where you're gonna be at when you click on that. So this is kind of what the field is gonna look like. Um, we're gonna have um, 
these black lines represent the seats facing the stage. Again, the visitor side are at the top of the screen. The home side is at the bottom of the screen. And in blue are the science classrooms that the kids are signed up in. So we'll have about nine graduates across each black line, eight or nine. Uh, we'll have some staff members mixed on the edges on both sides. And so, um, but this is generally what it's gonna look like. Now for you parents and the audience members, parking. Uh, so our parking lots, you know, hold about 350 cars, a little more than 350 cars. The staff will already be on site. We'll, most of, we'll encourage the staff to park in the back and park over on the side parking lot, but we still will need to take up a few parking spots over in front of the McAfee. We've, we've, uh, we've, so Mr. Lou, if you go to the next slide, I'll talk about the church. And so we have parking in the front parking lot and on, those, on the um, area next to the McAfee, there's about 20 spaces. And then the Menlo Church has graciously offered their parking lot. Now they will have a preschool event that morning and they will take up about a dozen parking spaces. But uh, that is available to us for overflow parking. There will be three entrances to the, to the stadium audience members. There's entrance one and two will be fairly near each other. Now there is a third gate there, but we're gonna leave that for exit. There might be somebody who needs to take a phone call and get out or whatever and leave the ceremony, and that will be an exit only. We're going to open up the um, entrance number three will be a gate over by the uh, baseball field. And that's for folks who want to sit over in the visitor side. Once you know where your graduate's going to be sitting, you can start planning how you're going to enter. Now, a little bit, little bit more detail. So remember, gates open at 9 a.m., okay? We're going to have the office staff will be at all three entrances, one, two, and three. And they will simply be, there'll be a poster asking you the generic questions of if you've been healthy and, and some kind of their screener 19 questions. But there won't be a formal, like, we're not going to do temperature checks, or, or any of that. We're just gonna have you come in, read the signs, and then uh, we're going to stamp your ticket. We're not gonna tear it, we're not gonna take it. We're gonna ask to see the four tickets, turn them over, and we're gonna stamp the back of them. Again, if, you're gonna, if you know you're gonna sit on the visitor side, we would encourage you to park and walk along the sidewalk at the top of this picture, and then over to the other side of the sports court, and then come in. Uh, we're not selling any food, but um, you're welcome to bring your own water if you need to. So again, seating will be general admission in the stands and or, uh, or on the chairs in the track. So you need to decide if you want to sit on the track or the stands. And I'll show you what that will look like in, in, the, in just a second. Um, both sides are open and there'll be, like, as I said, about 300 chairs on the track on both sides. We will have a designated areas for handicapped seating and senior seating. Senior seating, I don't know how else to put it. This is for folks who might need to stay out of the sun. Um, I would, if you could send me an email uh, ahead of time, then I kind of know how many chairs to put up and, and a, we'll have a canopy off to the side. I'll point it out in the next picture. So here's some pictures. If you move from the from our left, um, this is our home stands. And I just wanted to point out, we have these little benches here. That's for the handicap seating. I believe there's 12 of those just on the home side. We have two more up by the press box. Um, and we have, I think, six on the visitor side. So if you're wheelchair accessible, um, and the wheelchair ramp is on the side closest, the bathroom. Then the next picture, uh, shows you that some families will only bring two people. Um, and so we have some areas where I'm going to put blue crosses. Sit on the cross, sit on the blue tape. And then over here, you could see um, the, a line. 
we've measured it's about six feet seven feet for four adults to sit side by side and so we put blue tape on you can see blue tape on the benches here we want you to sit on the blue tape okay and then we're required to have six about six feet between uh, families and then the last picture over on the right will is shows you how we're going to stagger the seating on the track. There'll be five rows and all the chairs will be in groups of, of four. So if you're in a situation where you want a group of two, uh, I'll have uh, those kind those two seaters will be in the stands, but not in the chairs. Now the question is, how do I get to the stands? Do I walk through these chairs? We're going to ask you to walk right on side the, the turf. There will be no chairs there and the graduates will be just off to the right of the picture. So that'll be, that's about a 15 foot space to walk through. Um, and we'll have that marked the day of the graduation. A couple of things just to remind that as uh, Mr. Torrance just said earlier about our graduates is depending upon the, the footwear that you wear, um, right? It's not necessarily a good idea to, uh, to wear high heels um, either on the turf or on the track. Um, so any of your uh, family members, yourself, if you like to wear high heels, uh, if you can wear something that doesn't potentially damage the track or you don't net uh, accidentally get stuck in the turf um, would be something to consider uh, for, uh, for this time when you guys are going as guests. Another thing too, just to, to note and pay attention to is Mr. Torrens and his team are gonna do a ton of work to uh, put the X's and the lines. So please honor the work and the plan that they've done because they've had to do a ton of math to make sure that we can maximize the number of families in the bleachers. We were really, really hoping that like magically the county would suddenly say no social distancing is worried for graduations. Everybody can sit where they want to. And that would have saved hours of work for Mr. Torrens. So if you don't see tape, um, please don't sit in that space because you'll notice that there's going to be rows that are completely not taped because we're supposed to skip rows in between. So right. Again, as much as you guys can be able to honor the blue tape uh, and the work that Mr. Torrens has done, uh, so much better that the whole day will go, the whole morning will go. You know, Mr. Louie, what would be super amazing if when people left, if they picked up their blue, just took their blue, maybe they take the blue tape off and throw it in the garbage. Anyway. That, that would be awesome. And, and maybe as our uh, masters of ceremonies, that might be something you could remind people of at one point. Add that to your, add that to your. Uh, Why? Okay. Now, Mr. Louis put this nice picture together to show us where the students will be staging in the science rooms, and then we'll walk them down. And our goal is to have the kids at this gate, right by this arrow at 10 a.m. So at 10 a.m., they're gonna start walking through and uh, coming and the music's gonna start and the party's gonna begin. Next slide. Sorry, I was trying to get my mute button, my little menu thing dropped down. Uh, one of the questions came up is, how are we going to be announced, Mr. Torrens? Do you have that come up in the slide or should we answer that right now? Let's answer that. Uh, we will be announced by the senior class officers will be reading the names of the graduates in the microphone. And, and that's go, what, oh, go ahead. I was just saying, we're gonna go row by row. So we're gonna start with the front row and work our way all the way back to the 18th or 19th row uh, so whoever's at the end will be one of the last people to uh, be announced and whoever's near the front will be some of the first to be announced. Uh, and we'll go again, just the, the full rows. Row by row. All right. So this is some great acting here today of showing you what the view might look like. Mr. Thompson is standing here on where the stage is going to be. Now, we'll, the speakers will be facing me and Mr. McGurk and, and, and uh, Gina here, and we're gonna be, uh, this is kind of what the chairs are gonna be looking like. They're spread a little bit out um, and there's gonna be this wide gap in the middle. Um, we might tighten things up a little bit, but um, we, don't, we don't get our chairs that we're renting until a couple of days before. So this is our, our best attempt to kind of show you graduates what it might look like. Now, during the ceremony, just want to remind you that the that the restrooms will be open. Mr. Louis asked that I be a master of ceremonies. So I wanted to mention that because those of you with 
you parents with older children know that principals have always done it. Um, so that, that Mr. Louis asked that I do it. Um, each graduate will walk from their seat to the back of the stage onto the stage where their name will be read by a senior class officer. So we're going to go through all of this at the graduation practice. So it's going to be super easy. Um, and then Mr. Louis will be at the bottom of the stage giving a graduate handshake and now and forever we'll take a photo. You didn't change the next picture, I hope. I didn't touch it. Um, obviously, the handshake is not uh, obligatory. So if somebody is concerned just about uh, the transfer of anything uh, virus related, I am I am vaccinated fully. But at the same time, too, again, um, it's not going to be a situation where it's it's uh, required in any way. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a this is a flyer from now and forever. I put Mr. Louis face on there. This is kind of what the traditional picture looks like. Um, you know, I imagine Mr. Louis will probably separate. We won't be so side by side, right? Or we'll come up with something. Uh, this is an important question. We get a lot of questions. When are the pictures going to be available? So seven business days after graduation. Again, I'll send this information out um, later as well. When exiting is really important, we were under strict guidelines to make sure that we make the, that the graduates are excused first. I know this breaks tradition at Saratoga High School, um, where we kind of have the whole crowd come onto the field, but this year we're going to have to do it differently. So we will excuse the graduates and they'll exit the way the arrows are. And then once they leave, I will excuse the uh, audience members to leave and I'll, we'll, We'll try to do it in an organized fashion. Uh, the, the next slide will tell you what happens to the graduates after. So once they leave, students will, will come all the way up from the field to this, in front of the library, to this hallway. And uh, the grad night committee has been working very hard to, to, and they'll have everything fenced off, but we'll have six tables in each of, or one table in each of these bays and in the table will be will be broken up alphabetically. The graduates will walk in. They'll if they have a loaner cap or gown, they'll return it. Uh, the box of personal goods from the science building will be brought down, and they'll have a chance to get this, their personal belongings. And then they'll go over to a table, and if they're not on the debt list, they will get their diploma, and they could put it in their holder that they get down at the ceremony and then they can walk around the grad night out to the parking lot where they will where they will meet you if for some reason that they still haven't cleared their debt and the fines were not paid by wednesday at noon i'm going to throw that out again at you that um, they're going to have to come back to the main office the next week and take care of that monday through friday it's open nine to three uh, the main office is not open on Friday due to end of the year things that we're trying to put together. And so I just want to remind you here that the graduates will be coming back out. I'm, I'm not sure exactly if they'll be walking, um, you know, all the way around by the main office in the music building or where, where exactly they'll be coming out, but they will be coming out into the parking lot where they will meet you and then you can get in your cars and drive away. Grad night. Now, our grad night committee has worked tremendously hard to, to put things together for you. So a couple of things to remind you. Later that night at 10 o'clock to 1030 is when the grads need to show up for grad night. We're not allowing any late arrivals. OK, we're shutting the door. That's a hard shut at 1030. They are still in need of volunteers. This is a it's a wonderful opportunity to kind of come and hang out and see the kids. It's, there's a ton of fun and, and great memories that are made. So we really want to encourage you, if you haven't volunteered yet, to click on the link and volunteer. Now, memory boards um, are, are going to be dropped off on Tuesday. Now, the kids can bring them at 9 o'clock. I, I will have a table out there that says memory boards. They can come right from their car and put it right on the table and leave it. That would be amazing. Another option is at the end of the um, 
senior day 21 at 12 o'clock. We're going to give them some little treats. Uh, we're going to give them some, we got some popsicles and some, a little treat, uh, individually wrapped treats. So they can go back to their car, or go home and bring their memory board back till two, or they can come back later that night of four to six. All of these drop-offs are going to be in front of the gym. We'll have a blue canopy up. And then there's some other information here about the memory boards. Now, there's been a lot of discussion. Parents want to come in and see the memory boards. I didn't put it on here, but if you want to pop in on Friday, the small gym will be open. I'll make sure it's open. Walk in there quietly and take go around and, and, and look at it. It's really cool if, if you've never seen it. Stay socially distanced. You're on your own, okay? Um. I'll get a text in just a minute if I didn't cover anything, Beth or Monica. Um, I think, yeah, everything else is there. Again, volunteers, volunteers, volunteers. We're almost done here. So put this slide up just because I know there's a lot going on and we're just to kind of summarize. So tomorrow, please have your senior drop off any school equipment, pay their fines. Let's get that done. Pick up their, their gown if they need to. Pick up their senior packet. So tomorrow is drop off and pick up. That's Friday. Saturday, we got our prom. Five, five to 5.30 arrive, and they can leave as early as 7, uh, and it shuts down at 8. Tuesday, senior day 21, uh, starts at 9, as does Wednesday's graduation practice. We did that intentionally. 9 a.m. both days. Uh, if you don't know where to go for the senior day, I'll be sending another email and they'll be uh, uh, with the schedule. Senior Awards Night is that night on the SHS TV YouTube channel. And then uh, Wednesday, we have graduation practice. And Thursday, we have our meeting. Uh, I'm sorry, I just got a text. Uh, Thursday, seniors meet in their assigned rooms at 9 a.m. We're going to start walking them down at about 9.45. So... To put 10 o'clock out of your mind, we need them there at 9 to start the process, to start the ceremony at 10 a.m. Now, my text. Sorry, Mr. Lou, I, I got a reminder from our grad night committee chair. And it was, people cannot, no, after the, well, the question is, can people view the memory boards after the ceremony? Oh, so after the graduation ceremony, can people come in and see the memory boards? Mm. I'm going to be busy. That's, the doors will probably be open. Is that okay, Mr. Louie? All, All right. right. Let's just talk about it tomorrow, and we'll, set, we'll include some information about that in the Friday later. Okay. Um, let's see. I, one other thing I wanted to say was, and we're, we're done, is I wanted just to – thank i don't know if you knew this or not but miss monarchy is retiring this year and she has put a ton of time and effort into the planning of this i'm talking about it but she miss miss yabara miss peck uh, miss alasan uh, uh, and uh, miss fong I, i'm gonna miss somebody uh they've all put a lot of time and effort but particularly with miss monarchy she's been amazing at helping organize this. So I just want to kind of publicly recognize her efforts and her work. Uh, just a few questions have come up so far. So uh, how many students signed up for grad night? Do we know that number yet? No, but I, uh, I do not know that, but maybe I can get a text. Yeah, All right, while we're waiting for that, then the next question was, when will students pick up their awards from senior award night? Uh, and, and what we'll say is that's going to be part of uh, availability after graduation practice. Yes. So that's where you can get your uh, students gra to pick up their Grad night, there are 256 people at grad night. There you go, 256. Uh, another question was, is grad night indoors or outdoors? And the answer actually is. Yes. That's yeah, both. They'll be indoors and outdoors uh, for in that time. Um, and then there was a question uh, was, how can we get refunded for unused lunch money credit? Um, that actually, that information is actually in the Friday letter we put last week. Um, and then uh, we'll have it again for next week. Long story short, there is a email address 
uh, for one of the district staff members, Hong Mei Chen, um, that you can be able to click on and then you can request either a refund or if you have a, a younger child that is here or going to be here next year, you can have the money transferred over. Uh, but again, please read the Friday letter in the special sections uh, that we've created that Mr. Torrens alluded to in the very beginning to uh, update you with anything senior related. And uh, I think that's all of our questions so far. Well, thanks everybody. Uh, you can always email me, mtorrens at lgshsd.org. I'm easy to find. Um, and I, you know, your kids have, it's been a pleasure to do this for your kids. You guys have got amazing kids. The problem, none of, no one's probably on right now, but it's probably just adults, but they are, re, they walk around campus and they're just, they're happy. They're, they're laughing. They're joking. And they're, it's all been a good perspective and boy, they have been good sports. So. Yep. Okay, with that, Mr. Louie, I think we can call it a wrap. So thank you again, everybody, for attending. Thank you again, Mr. Torrens. Uh, you have received a ton of uh, kudos in the uh, chat, and I've just been uh, accepting them for you. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so Mr. Torrens does work super hard. He's, uh, he's awesome. Uh, in fact, we'll be announcing soon that uh, he is getting promoted uh, from a 0.4 uh, administrator and a 0.6 activities director to a full-time administrator. Uh, so those of you guys who are on this call uh, and hear this, that's uh, you guys get a little cutting edge information that was just recently board approved uh, on Tuesday night. So I'm, I'm not leaving. I'm staying. I just have a different. Oh, role. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, I'm just I'm just giving them more responsibility and more pay. So there you go. So. All right, you. everybody. Thanks again.